Here you go, girl. Ooh! Whew! Doggy! What in the world is going on? <laughs> what in the world? Are you kidding me right now? Why, why do you always gotta be hating? Um, why do you gotta buy ugly shoes? Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. Yesterday was a really tough day losing Rick and Morty, but it's five in the morning, and the only way that I know how to overcome things is just to push forward. So I decided to wake up extra early today, accomplish as much as I possibly can, and maybe that'll help just kind of get me back on path. So it sucks I mean I'm not gonna lie it still hurts I hardly could sleep because I was so upset about it but again the only thing I can think of is to be a doer and so I figured I was just gonna get up early and do the best thing we can do to just try to make this the best day we can Basically, the first thing I do every day is edit. I spend about two to two and a half hours editing and going through comments on YouTube. So let's go ahead and get going. Okay, I just finished the vlog. It was uh difficult to watch and stuff like that and I want to know from you guys I mean I always want to share everything I've said the good the bad you know just really taking you guys on the life journey this was a tough one for me to edit you know emotionally to see what I was going through and still I'm going through couldn't really sleep because I'm so kind of upset about things with Rick and Morty but I want to know from you guys I mean do you want to see that stuff or should I not include that in the vlog I really do regardless um, Vlog is edited, gonna upload it, and you guys can tell me what you think. So let's go ahead and get ready and get over to the shop. Before we get this day started, I wanted to tell you that I just spent like an hour reading your comments on today's vlog. You guys uplift me so much. And you know, I think the thing that I try to preach more than anything is that no matter how hard things get, you have to push through. Yes, the loss of Rick and Morty was devastating to me, just like the loss of any other animal that I lose. But it's about trying to figure a way to get beyond it. And I'm not saying that I'm just gonna move on like, oh, everything is fine. Of course, it sucks, it's horrible, I feel terrible. But I also continue to preach to you guys that you have to rise above, you have to be a doer. So I'm gonna do the best I can do to kind of get into a good mood, be positive, enjoy as much of this day as I possibly can. It'd be really easy for me to get into a funk right now and just kind of want to give up because that's the feeling that I kind of have right now. Like, why am I doing it? I should just give up. But the truth is, I know there's so much that we need to do, so I have to just kind of rise above it. So again, I can't preach you guys to do that and then not do it myself. So I'm going to do the best I can do with the help of your amazing comments and all of your positive energy to make this day awesome. So let's go ahead ahead and just get the day started here at the Reptarium. Lucy finally came down from her perch where she's been for the last four or five days and she's hanging out right here. Again, I find it so interesting where she likes to lay. I really expected her to lay most of the time in this area right where my feet is because that's where the heat pad is and that's the most space, but she always seems to either curl up over here or curl up over here. Sometimes she's up here. She loves to spend time in the tree, but it's nice to see Daisy out. She's so impressive when she's laying out like this. Look at how big and beautiful she looks. Lori spent a little time this morning putting plants up on top of the cages. I tell you, it's the little things like that that really make this pop. Of course, she just did this side over here, and then she did a bunch over on this side before she ran out of plants. We still have to do the middle aisle, but look at what a difference that makes. I mean, how freaking awesome is it when you start to see those plants? It's really starting to come together. I want it to feel like a jungle in here, if that makes any sense. So I absolutely love what she's doing, but now it's time to buy more plants. So I figured I'd just spend a little time time here with my tortoises see if I can get these little monkeys to come over and have some food I tell you it's such a cool experience hanging out with these guys I mean they really are like shelled puppies <laughs> they're so amazing come on bud come on come on there you go sweetheart there you go <laughs> look at this little monster <laughs> I mean, it is so cool. I don't know. There's just something about tortoises, you know? I mean, they're just, 
they're so, so weird, those little grins on their face. Uh, they're so absolutely adorable. And having an opportunity to like jump inside here and just kind of be right up on them. Again, this little dude has the most personality out of all of them. No matter where he is, he will be happy to come over and take food right out of your hands like this. So when kids come and do like feed the tortoise thing, uh, this is the dude that usually is over here in a heartbeat like, yeah, I'm ready to feed. And of course now we have Speedy in here, which is really cool. He's starting to get a little bit more socialized as well, which is gonna be really good. And that dude way in the corner, he's usually over too, but today he's just chilling out. So I'm just gonna leave a bunch of food in here and let these guys feed east away. But trust me, when you come to the Reptarium, you're going to absolutely love these things. I'm with Andrea here and it's another feeding day here at the Reptarium. So what are we feeding first? We're going to feed the boa. We're going to do a large one first. She goes. Good job. You always have to be careful not to overfeed emerald tree boas. So typically what you want to do is give them really small meals and once they defecate, you can actually feed them again. This girl seems to be ready to go, but she just ate last week, so she may or may not eat. I'm not 100% sure. See what happens. Yep, there she goes. Awesome, uh, she is definitely a good eater. my friend Jen sent us for the Reptarium. It's got obviously Michigan with the R, the Reptarium family. You guys are part of the Reptarium family. Everyone that helped out is part of the Reptarium family. So that's awesome. So I have to find a place to hang this awesome little thing. Thank you, Jen. This beautiful big Okatee corn snake just shed out. So hopefully it's nice and hungry. And again, I always say I love the fact that it hides right in there. There it is. Oh yeah, he was definitely interested. Except for Dita. like a good girl, she took it right away. There's been so many amazing things hatching over here at BHB and I've been so tied up over at the Reptarium, I really haven't updated you guys much. Take a look at this right here. That's right, another smiley pie. That's right, I always keep all of the ones that come out are smiley, so I'm gonna probably put this one up for sale. The first smiley pie that I've ever hatched out. Ooh, he's a crazy little monkey too. The truth is I have four or five male smiley pies already, so I'll probably put this up. So if it's something you're interested in, go ahead and keep an eye on the website, bhbreptiles.com. Within the next few days, we'll probably put this, uh, this smiley up there. But there's been so much cool stuff going on here at BHB and I've been so tied up over at the Reptarium. So if you want me to kind of update you guys on what's been hatching here and all the awesome stuff, I certainly will. But I did want to show you this one snake right here. Take a look at this. That's right. That's a smiley and that's an upside down smiley. Now I've never had a pie ball ball python that has a smiley and a smiley upside down right next to one another. This is absolutely amazing. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna call him drama because it's like drama like the theater. You know how the theater has the kind of the two heads upside down. I think that's absolutely incredible. This one I am gonna keep, but isn't that thing absolutely insane? Then there's Abasuku. She is always excited to eat. You ready, girl? Come on out. Ah, there you go, girl. There you go, sweetie. <laughs> I always find it funny that monitors will typically still want to like kill frozen thawed food like it's alive. They just gr grind it into ground, rub it around. She is amazing. Look at how beautiful she is. We might as well give Perdita another one. Here you go, girl. Ooh. Dog it. What in the world is going on? <laughs> what in the world? 
Are you kidding me right now? I have never seen this before in my life. What is going on? That was absolutely crazy, wasn't it, Noah? Yeah, this is the same. Oh my gosh, what in the heck is she doing? She's just dragging it all over the place. There's no doubt that we worked hard this last month getting the Reptarium going, so I decided to buy us a little present, Noah. What do you think? I bet you bought some shoes. That's the right thing. Check them out. Ugh. You bought who a present? I don't know. Oh, I brought I bought me and Noah a present. I I bought you a trip to, to Florida. You didn't buy me that. I bought myself that. All right, let's see what we got here. Obviously, it's a Nike. I honestly, we haven't been looking at shoes, so I don't even know like what these are. Open them. Oh, sorry. Let's see. Oh, these are sick. These are the new acronym ones. These what are you sick. Think, Marius, are those awesome or what? Of course they're not. They're disgusting because they're like your sweater shoes, but they're in a Nike. They're Come not on, Nike. Shoes. They're not normal shoes. Yeah, Why are, are they not right normal there? shoes? Look at it. You know what it looks like? What is wrong with these shoe people? It's like they took a freaking It's a sock. Water sock, yeah. The ones you wear to the freaking water park and put a Nike thing on it and put a high top. This is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Why why you always gotta be hating? Why know. do you gotta buy ugly shoes? I think they're cool. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you they like snuggled. our new shoes or not. Oh, I, I like them. I think they're nice. I'd say that was a pretty good day of work. We got a lot accomplished today, and I really needed that to take my mind off of things and get back to some kind of positivity. We're going to have a bunch of new stuff for this next weekend when we open. Thank you guys if you're planning on coming to visit me. I cannot wait to see you guys. As always, I am going to wish you guys an amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. Your support means the world to me, and honestly, even going through the tragedy I just went through without your support it would have been 10 times harder so thank you for all your encouraging words comments messages and everything you guys are so amazing and I really do love you guys so much can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here can you smash that like button turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video which is every day seven days a week at nine o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time leave a comment because I like reading about you guys be kind to someone I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.